good weekend at Father's Day. Three, two, one. Gentlemen, start your to win $20,000 tonight in the 42nd annual USA 100. Jamaica, Virginia, they're coming at you for one! They will begin in the form in their double foul.
ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to meet the front row for the fast track portion of the USA 100? How about it, Jamaica? Started on the outside of row number one in the car number 55. He resides at a Concord, North Carolina, the Millie Yellow Dirt Map, Heinz Brothers Performance, JR Shocks, ML Performance, Fast Box Canopies, Factor Canopies, Hans Machine Shop Entry, Rocket XR1. He'll start second. He'll Billy Deluxe Mad, Matt Long. Received the one to go. The honorary starter from HoosierDriver.org is up on the flag stamp. Wesley Outland, looks like they're coming to green. Do you want to give them the call to start off the section of pro last week? Well, ladies and gentlemen, they're at the VP Race Fuels making power point. You have a race in the Fast Track Racing Series. Their portion of the USA 100 is underway. Matt Long slides high off a two. That's right. And Tommy, it's like the ultimate affair all over again. You've got three and four wide racing all over the place. You can't even sideways goes to live. Davis lives to, and they all pile in from there. On the Parkhurst is involved. Brent Bordeaux's involved. Daryl Dow's involved. Cars nowhere Matt to go. Tarbox is involved. seven Longhorn. The other Longhorn of Justin Walford outside the top five, five. He's in six. He's also the current Fast Track Rookie of the Year points leader. As we'll get ready to settle them in for the restart here. We'll start it one more time. Door to door, side by side. Take number two of Fast Track's portion of the 42nd annual USA 100. Green flag is in the air. And we are underway. Matt Long gets the whole shot on the outside lane, and here we go again. All oh, trouble in turn one and two. Two cars involved. I believe this one's one of them again in the 71 car. Yes, it is. And Daryl Dow, the other one in the 5J. Always good to be at Virginia Motor Speedway, of course. Bill and Clark Sawyer and the staff here do such a great job. Uh, unfortunate accident there, you know, in the first lap of the race. Kind of get things off to a rough start. Maybe we can get this thing on. Let's try it again for the third time. 40 laps the distance for the USA 100 fast track portion underway. On the jump of Max Redway, it's going to be Ross Bells. He'll lead the way. Matt Long in second spot. Brad Ham sits in third. Here comes Logan Robertson. He'll power on the outside lane for third. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, one lap on the board. You have a race. We're underway in the fast track portion of the USA 100. 39 to go. Everyone keeps it safe to the back straightaway in the turn number three. It's still gonna be Hells Bells, Ross Bells out in front, Matt Long in second spot. Brett the Jan Ham sits in third. Three wide in the back. Lipscomb, Brad Basie. And Logan Robertson will pass Brett the Jet Ham for the number three position. He'll go to the podium spot as it lets it off the turn four. Brett Ham in a new very South Carolina with Longhorn number 75 had motor issues back in April. Turning things around tonight. He's in third. Now they battle again. One lap it's Ham. Oh, he got into Robertson. Robertson fishtailed. He got sideways. He'll save it, Tommy. He'll battle for fourth again on the turn four. 
Robertson looks for the crossover. He brings it back down to the inside on the front straightaway. But Brettingham able to hold him off. Walker Arthur back there in the fifth spot. He's watching in front of him. And he'll just settle in there watching that battle. Saying, hey, I'm going to let them two battle it out. And maybe I can sneak through. But back to the front. Ross Bells puts another lap in the books as your leader. The driver out of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, Brian Hankins, making his first ever fast track start. One of the regulars who gets in the speedway with some smoke now going from the back end of his car as he's one spot to the rears. Meanwhile, it is Ross Bales out in front. Matt Long in second. His nemesis, so to speak, Tommy, because if you remember back in April, those cars were about in one and two in the King of the Commonwealth. Same thing here tonight in the USA 100. The Billy Hicks uh, prepared machine for Ross Bales. Again, hooked up here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Ross is beginning to reel in the tail of the field. He'll be into the uh, slower traffic here in just a few laps, Wesley. Brad Macy in the low sideways a moment ago trying to get by the lip Lipscomb in that car to turn four. As the laps continue to tick away here, working lap number eight of 40, 32 remaining in the fast track portion of the 42nd running of the USA 100. Hope you're enjoying the Facebook Watch coverage. It's presented by HoosierDriver.org. Out in front, it is still Ross Bells diving into turn four now. The lap traffic in his miss, Tommy, back to one. Back to one, Wesley. And I'm watching the 77 machine of Brian Hawkins. Looks like it's got some smoke coming out the rear, especially as he comes off of the turn. And back hard into the throttle. Looks like some blue smoke coming out the rear. Don't know if he's got an oil line leaking off. A lot of smoke coming out the rear. Some a battle for the lead. You're exactly right. A battle for the lead. Here it comes. As they go to the back straight away. Lap cars in the way as well. Matt Long trying to use the lap car as a pick of Carl Vaughn to run down Bells. And while that happens, one car going behind the wall to save us looking at Vaughn drifts up the racetrack. That allows your lead cars to go to the inside and make the pass on him. With steel now, Ross Bells out in front. Bottom for second is Brett Hams closing on Matt Long out of turn two. Brett Ham got right to the rear dead of, of Matt Long's car, but also uh, Logan Robertson and Walker Arthur have rejoined the fray. They are right there. The, over. And that 77 Ryan Hankins with smoke coming from the back of that car. His car about spun and exited off the floor a moment ago. Been saved for the name of the Kitty Hawk in North Carolina as they'll come across the line. 12 laps in of 40. It's still going to be Hells Bells, Ross Bells working through lap traffic and lap cars and smoke the boot. Battle for the lead. Matt walks to the inside in turn one. Ross Bells able to use the slower cars as a pick. Matt Long will have to go single mile. No, he's going to Gonna push his way on through. Can't make it work. He'll back off a little bit. Bales up keys to the top side. Wow, what a move by Matt Long! Wow, how oh, did that happen? Smokes. Look at Brad Hand move by the left car on the inside. And he still was able to close in. Logan Robertson's on the outside, ready to lift his chops as well. Holy smokes, Tommy. We could have saw three cautions in that exchange. Look at the drivers at the best of the best in pro late model racing running the fast track. You just saw why. Bales leads them back in the one with only about a car length but between him and Matt Long. Then another car length back to Brad Ham, another car length to Logan Robinson, about two back to Walker Arthur. Now they got a single file, got a little bit clear of the lap traffic now. Logan Robinson good. Trying to turn four. Daryl Dow goes around in the 5J. And the caution's coming out. Look out, Carl Vaughn, way high out of four. I believe that's the date we may, have, we may have a little move there for that. But I got you. Here we go, Wesley, getting ready to bring them back green. Back for the restart here in the fast track portion of the USA 100. And look on the restart, Matt Long powers to the inside of his nemesis, Ross Bales. Bales trying to gather it back in. He about slammed the long horn of Brad Hand for second and third. The long horn running down the rocket. Matt Long out in front in turn four. Matt Long got a great restart. Bales chose the outside, usually the preferred line with these guys, but Matt Long made the inside work that time on that restart, and he's beginning to pull away. Bales is under fire for Brett Hamm. Brett Hamm right on the rear deck of Ross Bales as they roll back to turn three, and Walker Arthur's made his way up to fourth, and he's looking to the inside of him. Cars 
Tires getting sideways. Look out. Turn four. Brad Basie sideways. They slam into one another. Look out. Whoa. Wow. The 77 car. Brian Jenkins gets... in the wall. The 40 car. Brett Bordeaux in the wall. And there's your caution out of turn four. And that was a little harder than what it looked like on your video monitor, Tommy. And Matt Bordeaux able to roll away from the scene of that incident in the back from the front straightaway. He concrete tired that uh, right, the, the left rear. And we're getting ready to go back for the restart here. 18 laps in of 40. The Fast Track Racing Series powered by Chevrolet Performance. Tommy, bring him to green out of four. Matt Long, your leader, will gas it up and he'll bring back, bring back almost three wide down the front straight. Walker Arthur has made his way to the third spot. Boss Bell's going to try the outside. Going to be too wide for the lead, but Matt Long powers oh. on the inside. One goes around and turn two, Wesley. Brad Basie out of Augusta, Georgia into the outside. Retaining wall does not look like he got into the wall with any damage on the car 52. But he just got himself into the spin cycle. Oh, yeah, he just missed great. If, if he had any contact with the wall, Tommy, he just grazed it with the back end of the spoiler. And uh, the master built of Walker the Bull Arthur inside the top five as well. All right, here we go. Ready for the restart. Tommy, let's try it again out of turn four. Matt Law once again will gas it up. They're going to go two wide. Walker Arthur looking to look, go underneath. Ross Bales, Bales up on the top side, battle for the lead, Bales with the advantage, but again, Matt Long has a tremendous run off the bottom of the speedway, Bales will dig it in deep on the outside, coming back to the flag, they'll be side by side down the front straightaway, with and in just one more lap, we'll be halfway, we're coming to halfway this time by, look at them side by side down the back straightaway, for the lead, Matt Long, Ross Bales, it is phenomenal. As here waiting patiently is Logan Robertson. He's out of turn four. We're halfway home. 20 down and 20 to go. The leaders roar back to turn one. Robertson making a move on Bales for the second spot. They're side to side. A little bit of contact. Robertson up into the outside wall. Now Walker Arthur will take advantage. He'll go to third. Bales sweeps and crosses over. He tries to go back. Now Brett Ham going to get in. Go with Ross Bells. Up the Longhorns banging fenders with one another. The Longhorn 75 of Brent Hamm, the Longhorn 79 of Ross Bells. Ball that goes on. Walker Arthur, two-time Fast Track World Champion in 2015. That's now pulled away. He's in third. And Bales with a problem up the racetrack at a turn four. That's very unusual, Tommy. We don't see that happen to Hells Bales. Car may have lost his handle. He scooted up the racetrack several times through the turns three and four last couple of trips around the state. Trouble, turn two! Jim Minka about got turned. He keeps going. Daryl Dow gets collected and so does Brad Basie and we're under yellow again. Third, he chose the inside of row two and outside is Brett Ham. Wesley, we're going green. Matt Long gets on the gas. And another great restart for Long as he rockets it down the front straightaway in turn one. Back for the restart. Shout out to Robbie Cyrus. Robbie Cyrus, the series director for the Ultimate Mid-Ohio Valley Series. Checking us out. Wish you could have been here this weekend, buddy. Off the of turn number four. The Lexus off the corner. It is Steele. Matt Long out in front. He'll lead the way. Walker Arthur is in his third, trying to get by Logan Robertson. And Tommy, if I'm trying to remember correctly, Matt Long finished third, Logan Robertson finished second, and it was Ross Bells that won the event here back in April. For the fast track I believe you're correct, Wesley. I believe that's right. And Logan Robertson got a runner-up finish to Ross Bells at 311 Speedway a couple of weeks ago in the night, one of the triple crown. Phenomenal driver, Doug Nasty, Logan Robertson is in the 17. And he sits, Brad Tommy, second again, the Brad's made spot. Matt Long continues his plays out front. He's got about 10 car length advantage over the 17 of Robertson. It's about five more back to Walker Arthur. And just a couple back to Brent Hamm and Ross Bell. Working lap 25, now making lap 26. 14 laps to go of 40. And out in front is Matt Long. And Tommy, 
Let's talk about the momentum that Hilma the Deluxe Man has on his head in the 55 Rocket. He won a race at Carolina in Gastonia. He won a race at Sumter, South Carolina last week, I think it was. He's been on the tear winning some big races too. Well, Matt Long in the 55 perennial front runner in that number 55 car. And he is showing the way around the Virginia Motor Speedway in this fast track portion of the USA 100. And in addition to being a driver on the weekend racer, he is also one of the marketing managers, marketing department managers for the Charlotte Motor Speedway in Concord, North Carolina. Of course, they host a great all-star race, the Coca-Cola 600 and the Bank of America 500 at Grove are coming up in September. So he's a busy man, not only doing the dirt track racing, he also helps out with the dirt track at Charlotte, Tommy. But uh, he loves racing himself, and he's got a great career going for him in the Rocket XR 155. As they come to the line, we got 10 laps to go. And man, Long just worked under the number 28 of Carl Long, putting him a lap down and stretching his lead a little bit more over Logan Robertson. Best battle on the track may be the 87 of Walker Arthur and the 79 of Rick Long. Arthur slowed a little bit on the back straight. Flat tire for Walker Arthur. Trouble on the 87 Cecil B. Arthur machine. a non-engine builders challenge event for fast track he won a fast track torn event last year at 311 speedway but this will be the biggest win of his career right here tonight winning the usa 100 and getting a golden eagle to boot back to green with nine laps to go tommy they're in turn one and two man long's already opened up a four five car advantage now cut down the back straightaway robertson and grant him in touch Seven car of uh, Corey Allman. Corey Allman in the seven car, sorry. Corey Allman in that number seven car. Across the line, seven laps to go. Now make it six laps to go when they come to the start finish line. Now in front, car number 55, Matt Long leads the way. Matt Long in the Rocket XR1 entry. Down the back straight away. Logan Robertson is in second. In third, the Longhorn of Brent the Jet Hammer, one, two, three, time. Now they get five to go, they make it five to go, they're back to turn one. Robertson is reeling in, man. I don't know if he has enough time, but he's cut the lead down from maybe probably 10 to about six car lengths. Robertson able to dig it in a little bit deeper as he drives, dives into the corner. Scott Vaughn, the 28 car of Vaughn, he looks to have a flat right rear suspension damage. Whoa! He cuts across the racetrack right in front of Logan Robinson. Everybody okay? And Vaughn did not complete right there. Carl Vaughn missing the miss. Top of turn oh, one. No. Trouble. Mack Landon in the 0 1 car. Problems for Mack Landon. Caution not coming out yet. Now the caution falls. Mack landed in the zero one. Or not. Man, my heart breaks for Tyler Millwood though. Leading that race with three to go and a flat under caution. Back under line. We're back under green and Matt Long takes him into one. Logan Robertson and Brett Hammond two. Ready to settle this thing, Tommy. Matt Long, Logan Robertson, Brett Hammond. Ross Bales, Corey Allender, top five, all single foul. They'll come to the line. Two to go, back to turn one. Matt Long continues to lead. He's got about three car link advantage now over Logan Robertson. He's on a couple more back to Brett Ham. Down to turn three. Matt Long, he'll see the white flag this time by Matt Long, your leader back to one. Wesley, bring him home. Matt Long about to win the biggest race of his career. Of the USA 100.
$3,500, a $3,000 payday. The final paid session before the Super Bowl, the Pro Late Model Racing, and the Golden Eagle. The Rocket XR1 and the Bad Matt Long. Hillbilly Deluxe wins the fast track portion of the USA 100. Long and Robertson will finish second, but he's got an issue with his tire. Well, he might have cut down a tire possibly on the 17 car. And Brett the Jet Hand finish in the top three. Well, Tommy and Dave, the biggest win on the Fast Tracks career for Matt Long was a non-engine builder's challenge here in 2014 at Virginia Motor Speedway. He's won a couple of 2,000 win shows, but never anything this big. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rocket XR1, Hill Billy Deluxe Matt Long wins the Fast Track portion of the USA 100. Stan Lester of Fast Track Companies International coming in to congratulate him. Tommy, uh, me and I were talking about it. Stan and you just said it. Finally. 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 I think I'm going to use that in the press release. A big, big national win for you on the Fast Track Racing Series powered by Chevrolet Performance. And it's the USA 100. The bragging rights that come along with that are special. The pay's good. But to get that golden eagle, what's going through your head, Matt? No, nah, you're right. It's finally. We've been so close here, you know, in the top three, you know, Tonight, everything went perfect. We had made the right call on the, on the car, the tires. You know, Ross and I were having a good race, and I got to thank him for picking the outside on the restart. He's probably kicking himself right now. But, you know, this is, uh, this is three in a row for us. We won two 2,000 win, and uh, this is makes... You won at uh, Carolina, you won at Sumter, and now you win here. We've really been on, you know, our worst finish all year has really been sixth, and I love coming here. The Sawyers, what everybody does here, and staying fast track, I love racing here. So... I'm glad I'll be able to come back at the end of the year for the uh, for the uh, the big one. Uh, now I didn't the World Championship had to miss it last year, so you know, really looking forward to it. Videography at its best. It's Speedway Car Cams or nothing. Thanks for tuning in to Speedway Car Cams. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos out here for Virginia Motor Speedway. Hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.